<coughs> Are we recording? Oh, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Alan. I'm supposed to be meeting my friends out here in the woods. We we're going to do some stargazing, toast some marshmallows, and tell each other some ghost stories. But I need some help to try and find them because I don't know where they are. Do you think you can help me? If you're looking for some inspiration to keep the kids occupied this holiday and promote the benefits of using smart tech in a fun but educational way, then Toontastic from Google is a brilliant app that will help you do just that. So go grab a coffee and the kids, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. This works for Apple, Android and Chromebooks and there's no need for a login. It's also free to use and it's without adverts and in-app purchases. After opening the app, delve into the settings where you can adjust the level of animation that you'd like to control. Particularly useful if you have younger ones and you're trying to encourage fine motor skills. We use this app a lot in schools and while not specifically designed for that, we have heard from a lot of educators that they love how the app sparks their students' imaginations and uses a story arc to help frame the conception of writing. Book reports, science reports, historical reenactments, biographies, the list just goes on and on. Choose the story method you'd like to use and get started. I'm going to do a short story. You'll need to choose from one of the nine settings before you go on and select your characters. If you're feeling super creative, then you can draw your own. The characters that show up next are ideal for the setting, but that doesn't stop you from choosing any of the others. Be as creative as you like. The little paintbrush here allows you to customise each of the characters you can even take a selfie if you want to animate yourself. Press the arrow in the top right corner of the screen and you're ready to tell your story. One good thing to remember is that each part of your story can only be a maximum of 60 seconds long. So do encourage conciseness as a skill that will really complement the digital skills learned by using Twintastic. Now it's time to place your characters in your setting. If you did choose the full motion setting at the beginning, then you have a whole range of interactions with each character. Two finger pinch to enlarge or reduce both the character and the background. Tap once to see the character's special move and tap again to stop it. Press and hold a character to move it around the screen or swipe along the background to scroll. And if you hold a stationary character, you can make them speak. When you think you're ready, then hit the start button at the top of the screen. And then 60 seconds starts now. I wonder where Jess and Gareth are. Perhaps they're over here. <gasps> it's a ghost! Get out of my woods! Once the 60 seconds is up, you can watch it back, re-record it if you've made a mistake, or you can round it off by adding one of the many soundtracks available from down here. Your story can take place anywhere, so if you did want to use a multitude of scenes and different characters, then that's fine. You're the creator after all. Once you've fulfilled all of your scenes, give your story a name Credit yourself for creating it and export it to your gallery. You may even want to share it with your friends and your family. Toontastic is a great app that aligns story planning to storytelling to creativity and digital skills. We'd love to see the examples that you create, so why not share them with us using our socials? I'd like to thank the people that have supported my action journey, my virtual mum and dad, to all my fans around the world, the dogs, the cats, the sheep, the jellyfish. I think we'll say goodbye there. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you again soon.